Vine Sauce Edutainment, we are here to bring you the finest in educational games from the early 90s to possibly mid-90s. A um, couple people I want to thank for helping out. First of all, all of you that sent me your suggestions got a lot of responses on Twitter. So this will be just a couple edutainment games. I have a couple things that aren't edutainment, but, but mostly edutainment. Um, and I thank you for the suggestions. They were good. Sphinx, Jackal, John Sauce, you guys, thank you for the help. Nary, Vincessity, everyone um, that helped me out with this to get these running, to get these working. Deepest appreciation. Let's do it. Let's jump into it. Um, what are we starting with, though? Why don't we start with Duck City? I don't even know if you'd call this educational, but it's got ducks in it. So, let's see if I can bring you some, some ducks. Okay, we'll go to Duck, duck City. Okay, Duck City. Duck City, I'm going to click. Yeah, we, oh, okay. There it is. So, this is a game from... Oh, this is oh. I can quack as much as I want, and no one can stop me. Uh, okay, so in this game, Vinny, Mike is a little staticky still. Really. Hang on a minute. Let me uh, turn my air conditioner off. You're going to have to be here with the duck for a second. Just a second. There's a couple guys. A couple people. All right, I'm back. You know, here at Vine Sauce is hope. You can take a break from the stream for a couple seconds and it's fine. It's totally fine. This is um, the duck lab. So use the arrow keys to move around. This is a... Whoa, okay. This is mid 90s. And okay, we, we, gotta, we gotta figure out what to do here. This is, I think, one of those games that you just kind of like do little. Why does this poor duck keep getting electrocuted? This is one of those games where you just explore and walk around and look at things. You know, back in my day, we didn't actually need anything to do in our video games. We just needed things to look at. Okay. I don't... Do I click stuff? Do I... Whoa! What, what's he doing? So is that lightning what you hear in my microphone? Okay. Okay. Those are instructions. So you, you walk to the cabinet, you get electrocuted, and then you go back to you know what we'll just jump out of this all right we're gonna go play some basketball <laughs> it's 97 this is i think this might be the latest like game maybe we have another 97 game but i got some dos ones for you i got um a cameo by a character that i know the chat is is gonna love already loves Hang on, so you have to press enter? Was that, it's enter, or is that shift? Yeah, it's shift. And now, and now my duck fell through the world, never to be seen again. S 
snip snip get a haircut as a duck. I'm going to hear this quack in my dreams. Huh. ATD all-terrain duck. Wow. So it's a bootleg RC Pro-Am, but kind of worse, and you're a duck. Everything in here is just worse than something else that already exists, but you're a duck. Yeah, the animation's fine. I mean, it's, you know, it's 1997. It's just kind of cute for what it is. I don't... I don't hate this game. I don't think there's a whole lot to do. I've been told there's only, like, 15 minutes worth of gameplay, if that. <laughs> I'm here to shoot. I like the CG, the one moment of CG in the entire game. Yeah, I need some help here, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh, you walk around and you press space. Okay, so one game used shift, the other game uses space. Oh, okay, you suck up the worms, and then you, you die. Wow. Cool video game. Well, they're not really worms, are they? They're, they're kind of like slugs. Okay, there's a... There's a key that I have to get, but it's guarded by a giant slug. Alright, so you have to collect the little slugs. <laughs> this is not... This is not making any sense to me. Now, again, I always have to phrase, you know, or like, uh, frame, rather, what these games would have been like when you were a kid, where you want Mario Brothers, you want Zelda, or you want Half-Life, which came out a year after this, but instead you get Duck City from a relative, because they know you like ducks, and then you get a whole 15 minutes worth of gameplay. That's not... You know, I guess it's not the worst outcome. Got a minute. Well, no, this is pretty bad. This is a pretty bad outcome. Um, I don't, I don't think this is a good time. Slug farm. So it's slugs and ducks. What a weird concept. So get, let us bring it to the farm. All right. Well, this is Vine Sauce's hope themed, at least. Ugh. What a repulsive noise. Oh! That animation is also kind of bugging me out a little bit. I don't like that. Oh, there's a cabbage in the hay. Cabbage does not grow on hay. These controls are very interesting. I'm using that word as a way to spare the game's feelings. Ugh, that sound effect is going to be used in future streams, I can tell. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, the slug is getting, like, massive. Hang on a second. Again, this is a kid's game, so I don't expect the slug to explode. Six? Oh, I had a time limit. Okay. I think we only have, like, one more. You can just... Oh, no, that's it! That's the whole game. I mean, was that edutational? I'm not sure if it was. I don't, I don't know what I got out of that. Huh. I don't know if I learned anything. Did you learn anything, chat? I, I just kind of feel, like, bad. <laughs> I just feel bad on the inside now. Um... Well, why don't we move on to Cyber Grannies?
which might have the best title of any game. I, I don't know what this is. I've heard things about it, but this has a very good title. And yes, yeah, Cyber Grannies, and, I, and I, it may conjure all kinds of things into your into your brain when you hear Cyber Grannies. But just know that I'm thinking it's going to be RoboCop Grannies. That's that's what I'm thinking. Also, it's loading, so please please uh be patient. Okay, here we go. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Cursed. What? Well, video games? What do you mean, video games? Hey, why don't you come along with me? Nope. Please no. They 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 Put me back. I'm not the done. Same as you. They live inside the they don't live in the same world as you. That's why we I have to lower this. Sorry. What's the story here? Oh, okay. Cyber Grannies, that's why we call them Cyber Grannies. Cyber Grannies. Cyber Grannies, for you. Bah. I don't really know what Cyber Grannies are still. They live inside machines. I got that much out of it. You know, it's very easy to throw around the word cursed these days. But when you see something truly cursed, you know. You, you know what it is. Is this that? Not Hello, not yet. I'm Atos the Kangaroo. Now it is. Welcome to Cyber Grannies. All the letters you see here represent doorways to the 26 wonderful grannies that you can visit. And they all just can't wait to meet you. Huh. So I'm going to be singing the Cyber Granny song in my head for the next couple days. You might even hear, hear it on stream. So just want you to be aware of that. Um, that's why they call them Cyber Grannies. Now I'm going to, again, subvert expectations. I'm going to start with Z. Zipper. Z is for Zipper. Z is also for Zoo, which is where we will meet Grandma Zelda, the zookeeper. Zelda? This is a granny? Hi, I'm oh. Grandma Zelda. Oh my god. And I'm a zookeeper. I take care of the animals in the zoo. And I especially love the animals whose names begin with Z. There are a few here you can meet. There's um a, a zebra and a what is what the fuck is that one on the right? Yeah, remember though, uh Ze you know, after Zelda, the game ends and Link rescues Zelda. She's got to do something with her time. So this is what she becomes, huh? Hey, you there with the stripes. Have any zucchini? No. Zebu. Oh, it's a zebu. Someone in chat said it was a zyak. Z-Y-A-K. And I, I like, kind of believed it for a second. I was like, that sounds about right. Watch this. Show off. Zebra. It's a zippopotamus. Oh, thanks, chat. Cool. See, I'm learning from you. You're more educational than the game. A Zangaroo. Z is the last letter in the alphabet, 
But if you want to start back at the beginning, click on this letter A. Or click on this block to go choose any letter you want. If you don't want to leave, just click anywhere else. I, I want to leave, but I also feel like I need to give the game a proper shake. So why don't we spell out PCRF? I'm going to do that and then move on to another game. I think we, we finally know what Cyber Grannies are. Thank God it's not what I was thinking it was. P is for photo. P is also for plumber. Want what? to see if you can help Patty Granny fix the plumbing? I know who can help. Hey, Luigi. You want to get in there with me? Fix some pipes? Oh, my God. It's a new brother, confirmed. Except it's a granny this time. Hello. I'm here to fix these pipes. It's, it's Mario's my grandma. My Patty Granny, and I'm a plumber. I'm missing a piece of pipe. <laughs> Why don't you look around while I go get it? This is great new lore. I really like this lore. Okay, we're just going to slowly walk on out of here, aren't we? Okay. Pipe wrench! Hmm. Yep. Yep. Everything takes forever in these games. Pipe wrench! It just, you know, the animation... Just slowly... You see it? Look, it's gonna dance, it's gonna fly over there. A lot of these old games, they have to take their time and do a little song and show off the animations. Pliers? But at least we're learning. A pencil? Could that be used as a... Yeah. Yeah, plumbers would use a pencil, sure. Pencil. All of this will be on the test. I'm not kidding, I'm going to make a quiz based on this stream. Pores. It will be multiple choice, and there will be a set number of questions I haven't determined yet. But I'm actually going to make a test. So, just be prepared. Which also begins with the letter P. Prepared. Oh, you Use believe the hands it? to Just get around look. and find all the animations. Uh, okay, I would, but you're stop moving so slow. Holy fuck! I still have these nightmares. Like I've been even recently, I've been getting them. Oh, there's more stuff here. P is for door. All your pipes working? I can take you to see Grandma Q's quartet if you click on this letter Q. Or, if you would like to go to the alphabet screen, click on this block. Click anywhere else to stay here. People in chat are upset with me because they're saying that the granny is old and she takes her time because she's old. But she's cyber. You know, she's got augmentation here. We're talking about like a cyborg. That's why they call them Cyber Grannies. How do- oh man, I should have clicked on the thing to go back. Oh no, I want to go back. Take me back! I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to PCRF. I think I'm just going to do like PCR. I, I, <laughs> this is taking up a lot of time. Half of the time is just nothing. It's just like loading, downtime, and slow grannies, man. C is for chicken. Let's go see what other things that start with the letter C we can find at Grandma Kathy's. Here we go. Time to learn. While we're learning, C is also for charity. Welcome to Grandma Kathy's store. I'm Grandma Kathy. To look around the store, click on these hands. Does anybody want some coffee? Grandma Kathy has a very, um... A voice actor -y voice actor, you know? She's got, like, that experience. I can tell. Cash register? 
Choose the type of activity you want by clicking on one of the circles. Huh. Here are some of the things you can help me count. <laughs> How many chickens can you see? I, I don't know. One? Really? We're counting? You've got it. Click on the big red button if you want to count some more. Click on the hand if you've had enough. Hmm. How many camels can you see? You've got it. You can cheat. Even if you're like, you know, three years old and you can't like count, you can still like correlate the amount of things with the column that they're in. So if you see one camel, then you know it's in the first column and then... You know what I mean? I don't feel like I'm learning. Or either that or I'm very smart. I'm just trying to, you know, just trying to teach you something, chat. I'm trying to teach you how to count and how to spell. And, uh, <laughs> and now, and, and how to cat as well. Cat. Oh. Okay. That's it then. Just cat. There is something fun for you to do. We're so Just close on the cash to $34,000 for charity, by the way. Any amount that you may donate will be very, very helpful. Even $5 is, uh, it goes a long way. So everything that you do is appreciated and we appreciate you for it very much. Um, also be aware that, you know, I'll be streaming a couple times this weekend. So this isn't the last you'll see of me, unfortunately. Finished your shopping? Ready to go to the next letter, which is D, where we can visit a very special dentist's office. Or click on the block to return to the alphabet screen and choose any letter you want. I can't to even... Stay here, I, you I can't make it through this chat. I cannot make it through this game. It's too slow. It's just too slow. God. Oh, those grannies. Here, let's do... Uh... Let's do the DOS games. Got some MS DOS games. Here we go. Yeah, MS DOS. Let's start with um. This one looks particularly crusty. This I wasn't even sure I was gonna do this one. This this isn't edutainment necessarily. Necessarily. <laughs> Maybe I need some learning. Oh man. And I'm the English major. Oh man. Designosaurus 2. So, again, MS-DOS. This will take you to the past with all the uh, the learning games that you know the rest. I don't want to say the ass word on stream. Okay, okay, I'm, I did it. I'm sorry. Do you have a joystick connected? What the hell's a joystick? Welcome to Design Stores Research Foundation. Okay. That's cool. Design Stores Network Computer. Oh, I see. I'm not using the mouse here at all. Go back to reception. Okay, so we're going to go to the laboratory. And we're going to uh, sign in first. Oh, God. Max Von Fusion, that's me. Now you know my alias chat. Designosaurus Laboratory Computer. Uh, I want to play the adventure. Anytime there was like some kind of game that was supposed to teach me something that I would play in school or at a friend's house or at home, I would always look for the game aspect of it. Like Oregon Trail, I would just spend all my time hunt hunting <laughs> and then inevitably lose the game. Um, and Math Blaster and all that stuff. It was fun to just like move around, but I wouldn't like necessarily do the learning. The Sinister Max Von Fusion. Wait, I thought that was me. Select, create a new dinosaur. I'm going to make a new dinosaur. Okay. Um, 
create the dinosaur shunt. Choose a random combination of components. How do I want to make the name the the Vinosaurus, of course. It's kind of crusty, this dinosaur. Look, it looks very weak. It's got no lower or upper body strength, and just a massive head with like big jaws and teeth. It's like it seems like it wouldn't be a very threatening. This this is not Jurassic World two or three's uh, primary dinosaur. I'll tell you that much. Oh boy, does this look crappy. Oh no. Oh oh shit. This this game does not have a very good sprite limit. Or like it's trying so hard. It, it really, really wants to be a game with things to do, but it, it can't it can't be. MS DOS just won't let it. Vinosaurus is very sick, starting emergency teleport. Huh. You know, maybe we don't need more Designosaurus. I think I'm good on that. Let's check out... the treehouse. Okay. 1991. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, that was some good music. What's missing? Oh, this is anti-piracy. Uh, bird is missing, I guess. It doesn't- it doesn't matter, does it? Okay. July 19th, 2019. This- this is something that never should have happened. This calendar should never have had this date on it. 1992, maybe, but not 2019. So I don't really know what this game is. It might be one of those interactive playhouses. Again, I'm not sure we're going to learn. In fact, the stream has been 85% non-educational so far. Oh, I see. We can make a little movie. Okay. On Moon Miranda. Okay. Alright, so who or what? So we're gonna go with... Oh, Skeleton! Mr. Bones. Oh, Mr. Bones? What does Mr. Bones do, chat? Pickle. Mr. Bone Bones Pickles. It's pickles? When? In the rain. On the moon. During a storm. Seamless. Absolutely seamless. Mr. Bones eats pickles on Moon Miranda. Huh. Mr. Bones plays guitar. This is not the real Mr. Bones. In the jungle. Mr. Bones eats pickles during a storm. With beach balls and messages in bottle. Boy, I feel like a, a director now. You know, someone somewhere has directed movies that played this as a kid. And they enjoyed the fuck out of this and played it all the time. And it inspired them to become a director. And you know what they're directing right now? Cats. Guaranteed. Bronto? At a party. Okay, so during, during a storm. A storm. Bronto? At a party. Eats pickles. It sounds like he wants to say more. Put away everything here, yes. The end. What a compelling story. I'm sure someone could make a fan fiction out of this.
I'm I'm ready to take me back. Put me back. I don't I don't know how to get out of this. Oh, the treehouse at the top. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Let's do this and, and play with some toys. Again, not learning. There is no learning to be done. I saw Hootie in the treehouse. Um... Oh no. It Mario Party? Hooray, you got a big tax refund. <laughs> you picked less money. Ten yeah. cents. Okay, so there's some learning. You get to see what is more. So 10 plus 1 plus 1 we learned is 12, whereas 10 on its own is just 10 and is less. You picked more money. Nope. 11 cents. 22 cents for charity. And that's it. Help! I've been framed! Ahem. 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 Oh, never mind. Mr. Vinesaw, sir, is this going to be on the test? I don't see how it could be. my family <laughs> time to leave the treehouse you've grown up you've grown so fast and now you can go to your banana hoard and save it from the kremlings Hi. A, y a young diddy kong awaits his bigger brother donkey to return to the treehouse Okay, I think we've had enough treehouse. Let's keep going. You know, there's there's some more here that I'd like to check out. The Secret Island of Dr. Quandry. This one looks interesting. Again, we'll find out whether or not it's that this is uh, educational in any way, but... This is really weird. That's right, come a little closer. This looks so familiar. Have I played this? I'm the ingenious Dr. Quandry, the quintessential quiz master. I have played this. I'm offering you a free game of Troggle Shoot. If you win, I shall give you your choice of one of these fine dolls. I mean, lifelike action figures. See the Troggle in that box marked Target? Shoot as many of them as fast as you can. Oh god, I gotta lead my shots. Oh, this is- this is giving me some weird flashbacks. Also, this is- this is freezing and, and not running particularly well. Really, really am getting some weird flashbacks. I think I played this somewhere. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Well, why would I play this in school? Oh, I think I would have played this in school. And then there was like a... There's like an adventure that you go on. There's like a field. I remember this. Yeah, I did play this in school. Good try, but not good enough. I'm a generous gent. I'll give you another chance. No, I don't actually think I want to continue playing this. Um, does that count? I can't tell if that's the exact... It's just... Oh, 
Boy, Dr. Quandry. You sure make some difficult mini-games. This is like a carnival game. Yeah, this counts. These guys count. It's not helping that it freezes every couple seconds. Every second, every point seven seconds. Imagine being in school. You're a teacher. And you... And this is what it was like when I was a kid, actually. A computer lab. Nimrod. One more try. Ah! Oh, I don't want another try. I want this to end. But imagine being a teacher in computer class, and you give your students this quiz game that's supposed to make them smart. It's an educational game, but everyone keeps failing. So you can continue to shoot these things. And it's just like a full 45 minutes of kids shooting things. Boy, I'm bad at this. How did I ever play this game as a kid? Did I just watch someone play it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just let me play the game. You qualify by virtue of your persistence. But before you choose a prize, I must warn you. <laughs> the prize you choose will have a dramatic effect on your future. They're not ordinary figures. They're sometimes alive. It's harmless. Middle of the road. Mellow fellow. Real pain in the posterior. Okay. I absolutely... Okay. That's the one I want, please. Thank- Oh, that is weird. Oh my god, this is bringing me back. I just teleported, like... 20-some- Oh my god, the sea! The beach! The beach! This is crazy. These are memories that were locked away for years. I just transported back, like, 28 years of my life. Well, maybe a little bit less than that. 25? No one ever finished this game, by the way. Secret island, unless you can solve all my puzzles and meet all my challenges, you'll never see your body again. I fancied myself, um, someone who was good at video games. You know, because I would play Zelda and Mario's. But then, I would go to a computer lab, and I would play stuff like this. And I would just be stuck for hours. <laughs> Got the music. You play as a pink troll doll, and you explore a bunch of... I'm not afraid of the dark. You explore these weird places, and... And you have to solve puzzles, but... There's another game that just came back to me. It was like some... Nature game. Like a... It was like you... Explore different rainforests and and you'd see animals and stuff. Is there an equivalent to games like this today that kids are playing? Amazon Trail. Well, that was, in incidentally, that was one of the games that people recommended a lot, and there's a very high probability I'm going to play that at some point in the future. Maya Quest? Shadowgate? Well, Shadowgate was actually good. This was, this is just, like, learning and other, like, strange puzzles, and... You must pass through my portal. It's a little diversion. Oh god, I remember this, too. You had to... Can I rotate these things? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, you can. The mouse is very finicky, just as it used to be. This is the part where Vinny gets stuck on on baby puzzles for an extended amount of time. Or not. Or wait, what? I solved your puzzle, Dr. Quandry. What the f Dr. Quandry, get me off your godforsaken island. I won. Oh, it's very precise. It's very precise. I, I thought you were. Wait, I thought this was how you won the game. Now I gotta play games with baboons? I'm ready. I'm ready to talk to the baboon. Hello, hello, baboon. Baboon. Nope, nothing. You must win at a game I call Ape the Ape. Uh, do as I do when you're all through, you'll win a tin cup full of gobbledygoo. What? I'm not learning anything. I'm just like, we're just squirting juices. Okay, okay, I've had enough of Dr. Quandry. Yes, I did play that. Yes, it's weird, but we need something different. We need to learn. We need to play Quarky and Quazoo's Turbo Science. And then I have a couple of um, surprises. Well, not surprises necessarily, but all of it is, you don't know what I'm going to stream. All of it's a surprise. But I have some some really interesting things that I'm looking forward to showing you. <laughs> yup. Go! Quarky and Quetzu's Turbo Science! Oh! Oh my god, this guitar. This banjo. I think this might be slightly overclocked. Oh, oh my god, what's happening? No, 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 what is going on? No, 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 no. Okay. Choose Quarky. I'm ready to um, start the race. Who's Sphinx? No, 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 no. My name is VY Vinx. Lost Turbos, Vinx and Quarky Ogandi. Versus Das Liquidators, Linksa Harvyeet, <laughs> My Way, and Iam Never Wrong. What are these names? You do not have enough money to travel here. Oh well, I guess game over. You gotta do some work if you want to go to the next area. Oh god, that's clowns. Uh, is this is a gaggle of clowns. I'm so confused. Race status. Next question. Do light beams have the most trouble passing through the window, the pot, or the lemonade pi pitcher? I'm gonna say the lemonade pitcher. Sorry I am, that answer, it is not. Damn. Well, remember, chat, that's gonna be on the test. Help 
Burton Burton find the best example of a mixture? That's gonna be lemonade. Next question. Yo, Vinx, on your toes, bonus question. Get the next one right, and you bank $1,500. The movement of atoms and molecules in any substance is called... Um... Thermal energy? Cool answer. Cooler dance. What the fuck is this game? Show Burton Burton which object is the solute of Clown College Simple Solution. <laughs> what do you mean Clown College? <laughs> um... I don't know what the an what, what's the answer here, chat? Help me. I, I, I can't solve the baby game puzzle. Sugar, people are saying? Hang on, I have to Google... Solute. I believe you, chat, but just give me a second here. The minor component in a solution dissolved in the solvent. Sh sounds like sugar could be correct, and I'm out of time. Wow. Which ordinary kitchen object can be a danger to the Earth's ozone layer? You got asbestos anywhere? Um... Boy, this was a long time ago. We cared a lot about the, uh, ozone. We don't hear a lot about ozone anymore. Not as much. If your mom asked you to pick up something at the store with H2O in it, which kind of thing would you buy? I would buy... the lemonade. Just... we're just totally out of time. Okay, never mind then. I like the tunes when they don't get crusty. Flash race update from TurboNet. Lost Turbos mountain biked it to checkpoint number one. Um. Oh, okay. I gotta earn money. I'm in a helicopter. I'm earning money now. Um. Which one is not a simple machine? Is it the wrench, the banana, or the screwdriver? Banana. Why am I running out of time? It says time out. Constantly. Which object is not a good example of kinetic energy? The race car, the screwdriver, or the flag? The s the, ra the flag. No, the screwdriver. Well, I got the money for it. Which object or substance has a temperature of over 400 degrees Fahrenheit? It's the exhaust. Superstar mind powers. That's right, chat. We're dealing with an 800 IQ here. One of the drivers is much hotter than the other two. Which is it? I don't like this question. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't like it. I don't... Incorrect choosing? I don't... I don't know! Gravity pulls with most force on which one of the Gorilla Team's robo-units? The... Um... I... I... What am I looking at? <laughs> what am I looking at? Oh, there's a unit. Okay, no, no, no. The correct answer, that is not. I thought that was the chunk. If Otis Bear's race car wing acts like an airplane wing, is air pressure lowest above the wing or below it? Um... Um... Air pressure is, is lowest above it. Above... Uh, 
because that's how a thing flies. One more question. Show Paul Pit Boss which object or substance is hottest. Well, clearly the exhaust again. I, I have to- this music has to stop now. I cannot- I cannot handle the- Oh. Okay, we'll answer a couple more questions, and I'm gonna move on. This- this is edutainment. Remember to donate, by the way, if you want to see more edutainment and other weird MS-DOS games that you suggested on the thread. We're at $35,000. If we hit $50,000 by the end of the day, I will be forced to stream all of Oregon Trail 2 in full. I'm just saying. Could happen. Well, I say in full, but I'll do a complete run of it. Lost Tobra uh, swooped the helicopter down, and now I answer some questions. This is- this game is- needs to be a little bit lower. Oh, it's a spooky castle. I like questions of spooky castle. Oh god. Whoa, whoa! Which object has the best example of kinetic energy? Garfield. Electrons are flowing through which object in Dr. D's lab? The, um, light bulbs. The rubber shoes, the rubber gloves, Stanley. Which person or pair of objects is a good conductor of electricity? Chat? These? They seem to be energy resources, Mega Man. Which person in Dr. D's lab does not have a normal body temperature? Uh, probably the dead one. Please show Dr. D which, um, object is an electric circuit. Well, this one again. Alright. Alright. I think we've had enough learning. Have you learned enough, chat? I think I've learned enough. Why don't we, uh, before we learn even further... There's a little bit more that needs to be done here. Now there's a, a little something. Let's take a break from learning for a second. Let's be creative. For just a second. Now this is a game I played at my friend Frank's house. Jesus, how old was I? 12? 13? Just waiting for it to load. Not Kid Picks. I do have that too, but that will be perhaps another time. We're earning enough money that I might have to do Kid Picks at some point in the future. But this is something I think I think you'll enjoy very much. Spider-Man Cartoon Maker. Okay, this is getting real crusty, and the mouse is not good. Oh my god. <laughs> Classic Spider-Man music, absolutely. Yeah, so I grew up playing this, and uh, I'll show you how it's done, but first, um, Sphinx... Is there a way to, like, shore this up so that the mouse doesn't get, like, crusty and it doesn't freeze every couple seconds? If you're aware, it's because of all the alt-tabbing, or might have to do something with the capture st settings. Okay. Um, okay, let me try game capture instead. No. All right, well, I'll just have to deal with Krusty Mouse. Maybe it'll make it better. Um, oh, it's a little bit better now. Okay. So, this is a game where you can build your own Spider-Mans. 
and you can do it in, in any way you want. So we're gonna we're gonna go on the moon, of course. Okay. Now, um, so okay. So what are we gonna do here? Who are we gonna? So there's gonna be a bank robber. All right, the bank robber running away from Earth and all of his earthly desires and possessions is hanging out now on the moon or on a distant planet. It's not really the moon. It's a different thing. That's when a pumpkin shows up and blows him up. Okay. So then, uh, then Spider-Man shows up. Now, how do I turn Spider-Man into a different Spider-Man? Sorry, can't fill now. Oh. Doesn't matter. That's fine. So Spider-Man shows up, sees that there's nothing here. And, um, I guess clouds, of course. And then another cloud with music. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I really have no idea what I'm doing, which is why we're now going to, gonna, um, I'm gonna paint. From memory, Bungie the Frog. That's- that's a frog. Anything else happen? Do we need more? I don't think we need that much more. I mean, the story here is already so... Complete. So complex. Oh, Dr. Octopus shows up. Like, oh shit, Spider-Man. Then leaves. And then, um... And then the scene switches... ...to... ...that. And then we all rock out to some music, and the music will be... ...that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> There's two Spider-Mans! Wow, that was good. That was better than Spider-Man 3, or The Amazing Spider-Man, or The Amazing Spider-Man 2, at least. Click here to make a new Spider-Man cartoon. Who is that supposed to be Spider-Man? Stan Lee's cartoons. Oh, Stan Lee made a Spider-Man in this? Attack of the Insidious Six, written by Stan Lee and John Semper. Well, this has like a director? Spider sense is going crazy. There's danger nearby. Uh, oh, this can only be amazing. It's Alistair Smythe's Spider Seekers. I know what that means. Smythe and his boss, the Kingpin, are trying to track me down. They'll activate the Spider Seekers' cameras. Then those two creeps can see me on their holographic view screen. That's what that is? <laughs> Guys, I'm flattered, but I'm in a hurry. Why don't you change channels and watch the X-Men instead? <laughs> I wonder what they're up to. 
Whatever it is, I can't let it stop me from getting to my destination on time. <laughs> Uh oh, gotta run. Is that highway to the danger zone? Those spider seekers are fast. That old webhead is faster. Oh my god, they built the whole thing from scratch. Wait, how do you make small things? Oh god, this is so Time awkward. This with a bang. Here they come. I feel like I'm really watching the cartoon. Whew, that was close. And to think, I came up here to avoid the midtown traffic. Into the Spider-Verse 2. Oh no, not my spider sense again. This is the bootleg Spider-Verse. You, you know, you could just, you could recreate the whole movie in this. Rhino! Don't tell me you're trying to horn in on my action. I'll get out of here. Oh, easy, big boy. I'm starting to get your point. Shocker. I'm positively shocked to see you here. Good thing my web fluid is as strong as steel. I can't, I can't. I'm good. We'll never know what happens. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Click here if you are sure you want to quit the spider. No, I just want to go back to the main menu. <laughs> These animations are so awkward. Oh my god. Those are like the Mario Maker intro levels. So, so wait, how do I start from scratch? I want to, I want to make Click a new... Here to make a new spider yes! Okay, now I can make a new movie. Um, I want to... Oh. Okay, we'll start with a barrel for some reason, but we're going to do the plot to Spider-Man um, Far From Home. So if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I'm going to show you generally, you know, what it's about. Where's the high school? Is that high school? No. Um, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to do my own take on Spider-Man Far From Home very quickly, but there's no high school scene. What the hell is Spider-Man without a high school scene? Spider-Man is... He's a high school kid. Ah, oh, man. Alright, um... So he's in the principal's office. Okay, so, so... So you can see here's... How do you scale down... I need to scale down people. So, you, so here's some students just walking around. Don't worry about that. It's, it's school, it's busy, so there's students walking around. <laughs> now, um, let's see, who's the principal? Here's the principal. Okay, there's the principal. And then, uh, Spider-Man, uh, shows up. And, um... And he says, uh... We'll do it later, but there's gonna be some dialogue here, you know. And then, um... And then Spider-Man's best friend, uh, Gabe, I think, shows up Help! and is like, hey, Sp Spider-Man, we're going to go on vacation. And then they take a plane. Oh, wait, no. Um, so then they take a plane to Europe. So because that's what the theme is. They get a, they're going to go on vacation. But since there's no plane, we'll just put them on a helicopter. That's to indicate travel. Um, then they go to Europe, which is which is this. Just trust me, this is Europe. 
Okay, so now Spider-Man... Spider-Man is now in Europe, right? With, um... With Gabe. Help! And... And, uh, the love interest, Mary Jane. Now, Spider-Man is real shy. You know, he doesn't know how to, like, uh, approach Mary Jane. So he has to, like, work up the courage. And in order to do that, he has to, uh... I don't know, what does he have to do? Let's find out. He needs some... Some motivation. He needs, um... He needs... Oh... Computer. So he he uses the computer to Google things that she might like, which ends up being um flowers. Yes, flowers. Okay, good. Um, while this is happening, though, oh, uh oh, that's too many flowers. All right, we need a new scene. So while this is happening, elsewhere at the science hall, um, where's the fishbowl guy? Can't tell if Mysterio's here. Is it? it uh, oh, there he is. Oh, wait, no, that's not Mysterio. So while this is happening, Mysterio shows up. Mysterio show. That's him in the cloud. Take my word for it. He shows up, and he uses. Now we're getting into spoilers a bit, but. He does, he uses those to generate spiders. Because everyone knows that Spider-Man's afraid of spiders, and that's what gives him his strength, because he uses his fear to overcome them. And also, um... Here we go. And then they fly and they patrol. And he uses that to make spiders, um, the same way Batman is afraid of bats. Okay, and then, um... And then... Then a bank robber shows up and then leaves. And then, um... And... Coloring book? Eh, we don't need that. We don't need to do any coloring. Um... Whoa, I can record voices. Stop. No, 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 I don't want to spoil it. God damn it, no, stop! Does the microphone's not even hooked up! Ah! Almost 36k. All right. So that's cool. Just keep donating if you can. Even five bucks, like I said. But... So, alright, so then, um... So then, um... Spider-Man gets one of the drones. And then the scene changes to... And then it's another time somewhere in... in the Oh, oh, the train! The train comes, remember this? This is a scene where... Spider-Man shows up and then gets hit by a train. We don't have a train, so we're gonna use a garbage truck. So he gets hit with a garbage truck. And then... Uh, there's an explosion. It's not a huge spoiler, trust me. I, there's a lot more that could be spoiled here that I'm not spoiling. So you're, you're good, you're good. You can still see the movie. So there's a big explosion. And then, um... Spider-Man... Is... Then there's, there's later on, much later on, there's some stuff that happens. So, Mysterio is like, yo, what up? And then there's, um, I guess, um, some traffic cones. And then, um, hmm. Oh, the, the principal is there. And then Spider-Man is like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And then the the bank robber shows up again briefly, and then also then leaves the scene again because he's not necessary. He's not an important character. It's not worth thinking about. It's just it's there for effect. And then Spider Man has to show up and take care of this, but Mary Jane also helps. So so uh, where's the Spider Man? Um, there he is. The Spider Man goes like this. He goes like this, and then and then. And then he, um, falls down, he shows up and he wants to fight, 
So how does he do that? He's gonna use his web, he's gonna shot, and... I know there's a way to increase the size of these things. Somehow. And then he puts Mysterio in some web. And then... Spider-Man music. And while that's happening, um... Then Batman shows up. Don't worry about that. And what, then what else? Um, and then they go back to New York. And then Spider-Man... Swings. And then, um... Uh... And then Mary Jane swings. And then... And then... Spider... Oh. And then... Sp Sp Spider-Man. Spider-Man. And then... And then pipes. And then we get some different mutes than this, then more pipes. And then the credits. Written, produced, directed by Ang Lee. And then Spider-Man gives the kids advice. Always remember to wash under your ears. And, uh, wait, how do I... How do I fill this in? Is there a fill-in? So wait. N no. I can't. I don't know how to do this. I can't do this any better than I already have. I'm sorry. I tried. Um, but then a car shows up, and and we found out that the bank robber actually got away with the crime while Spider-Man was busy with Mysterio, and the bank robber goes and has a really great life, and ends up just kind of quitting crime because he stole enough money to live. The end. And then I'll even- I'll even write the end. It turns out crime does pay if Spider-Man's busy with other crimes. The... End. Okay, you ready? Here we go. So they're in school, hanging out. You know, at school, you can see the students walking by. The principal shows up. Hey, we're going to Europe. Gee, I can't wait to go to Europe. I'm Spider-Man. I can't wait. Let's go on a trip to Europe. And then his friend Gabe shows up, and then the helicopter takes them to Europe. And then shoo, 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 shoo. And then they're in Europe. Spider-Man's like, yo, what up? I'm in Europe. I'm going to hang out. Hey, Gabe. And then and then uh, Mary Jane uh, shows up, and then he buys her flowers from the internet. Mysterio summons spiders, Spider-Man's weakness, and mortal enemy spiders. But a bank robber, while this is happening, steals stuff and runs away. Spider-Man gets hit by a dump truck, and then the principal shows up with Mysterio. Spider-Man saves the, the principal, but not after the bank robber gets away because Spider-Man's distracted. Then they go back home, they swing at the end, and then some stuff happens, and then there's rainbows and, and, um, and stuff. Lots of, you know, like, ending special effects. It's special effects. Uh, Marvel's really big on their special effects. And then we find out that the bank robber actually got away with his crimes because Spider-Man was too busy to take care of his crimes and he bought a car. The end. Okay. We got a little bit of time, which of course means what? A little bit of, of this. Hang on a second. Okay.
Now, I think um, we've got... Hang on a minute. Before I continue on... Let me just check something. Also, we're at $36,000, 153. I think it was uh, 37000 to get all of the edutainment games, all 10 of them. So, just to let you know where we're getting there. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, some of you may be familiar well, with this you. series. Welcome to Infinity City. I'm Zach. Hop in and we'll cruise the sights. Sounds good to me. Come on! Uh huh. Ooh, here we go. Oh, hey, Ooh. that's my knee. Now, all we need is a destination. That's your job. Pick one of those locales down there on our directory. Engine's running. I don't know what's happening. Let's pick a place and hit the road. Okay. Um, so some of you may be Engine familiar running. with this frog. Hey, Infinity General Hospital. I got a friend who works here. Let's have some fun. Now, before uh, we begin... We can examine the patients, you know. Oh, God. Yeah, come on. So for those that are not familiar with this frog, just know that you're in for a world of hurt. This frog is the final boss of Vine Sauce. Um, Give me a push, dig. Oh, God. Um, I think... Now, we have a giveaway a thing that's happening before i begin i just want to make sure we're all good um let me just see if if hootie's around he's in the green room right now if you want to pull him i don't know how to uh you want to do that for okay me? i'm bab hootie you're now Ho ho hootie? Whoa! We're off! Oh, uh, uh, well, we just have to sit and wait a sec while they get all this stuff ready for us. Mm -hmm. Hootie might be busy. Whoa! <laughs> we are in the examination room. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff to play doctor with here, yeah. <laughs> Click on my belly for some patients to examine uh, and uh, hate... stuff like that, yeah. I hate this frog. Okay, when, when Hootie's ready, he'll be here. But for now, let's just continue. So this is um just the click giggle... on my belly for some patience to examine. Stop. This is Gigglebone Gang. All right. Now this is um this is this is like an educational series. I've played Pennsylvania and several other things, and uh, this won't be the last you see of the Gigglebone Gang. I don't think. Just but... click on my belly for some patience to examine. Ugh. Whoa! <laughs> a real live patient. <laughs> That's a person. I wonder if anything is wrong with him. Hmm. <gasps> He's choking? <laughs> oh, 185 pounds. All right, before we continue on, I think Hootie's possibly ready, or we're just about to be ready here for a quick um, hey, special thing. Hey, wanna weigh your patience? <laughs> Go ahead, Whoa! one on the Whoa! scale. Yeah, it's easy. Hi. Hi, Scott. Hi, how you doing? Okay, I have I have to admit something. Yeah. I didn't realize, but I had that Spider-Man cartoon maker when I was young, and it was like stepping back to like a six-year-old me. <laughs> that that happened to me so many times today, where it just brought me back to this weird place in my life where my brain was so mushy and malformed yet. Mm -hmm. um, but yet, it brought back warm, fuzzy feelings a little bit. Did the, the same happen to you? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Watch the Spider-Man flip around and whatnot. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Also, 37K. 37k oh. not bad you hit the first incentive for me chat which is very very impressive so you'll be getting in the future from me 10 more edutainment games of choice there are again so many replies to that thread i made on twitter so uh, we'll be we'll be doing some good education but not after the not before the quiz rather there will be a quiz anyway um so hootie what kind of announcement yes. do you have for me right now and for the oh. chat well, we got a special announcement. So we've been talking a little bit before the charity event began. And uh, we actually have some giveaways going on 
we have a very special item that we're going to be giving away today. Is, um, it, is it the item I'm thinking of? Well, it's the item that you might wish that you'd never seen again. But uh-huh. yes, it's that one. It's the Ralph Bluton body pillow. Okay. Yes. This needs, <laughs> this needs a little bit of explanation. Sure. Why don't you go ahead with that? Yeah. Okay. So a while back, we got a Ralph Bluton body pillow that was unfortunately never claimed. And this time around, do we have a picture of it, Hootie? Oh, uh, yeah. Let me get that for you. Okay. Just, uh, um, real quick. I was uh, looking yeah, for it too. I couldn't find about it. it. So yeah, essentially, it's a Ralph Bluton body pillow. You just fill it up with the pillow, and you'll see that it is in fact very disturbing, but also kind of amazing. This is, again, I raffled this off years ago, but the person went back and forth with me. I never got their address. They never returned to me, and as such, we've decided to give it away for charity this year. And yes, it will be. It will be good. So this is one of the items that we're giving away, and you can you can see I'll show you. Here it is. Oh, there we go. So I got this picture of it. So you know you can just unfold that, put some pillow in there, and then you have your very own Ralph Bluton, and it'll be wonderful. You know, keep you company. That's about the uh, most safe image we can show you on that. We're not saying that it's um, anything, uh, you know, crazy or anything like that. Just, um, well, it's it's a whole lot of Ralph. It's so, a lot of them. Yeah. It's a lot. It's, it's got a lot of Ralph there. But uh, we're actually going to be giving this away right now. So okay. uh, we're going to do this in chat here. And um, what we're going to do is you guys are going to type in a keyword that I'm going to give you. And we're just going to select someone at random. And uh, whoever manages to get it, we're going to get your information. And um, yeah, you could be enjoying a a nice evening um, with (laughs) your Ralph Bluton body pillow. (laughs) I'm sorry. I didn't know how else to to actually phrase that. And I I don't have a script. So we're just doing this as best as we can. We're, We're winging it. We're winging it. Yeah. Do it the best we can. So if you're interested, if you would like this one of a kind, is it one of a kind? Did they make more of these things? I believe it was just the one, yeah. Wow. Okay. So this unique thing that um, I, from what I understand, Mr. Vinesusser cannot contractually sign if you tried to bring this to him during an event. Please don't do that. Just keep it at home. Just keep it at home, home, please. Um, So I would like you all to type in the uh uh the keyword exclamation point i love ralph all one word that's exclamation point i love ralph if you would like a chance at getting this and we're just going to wait a very short amount of time before i do this little roll here and yeah best of luck to you all um man you had some real gems this stream then this is a this has been good, solid inter- ed- edutainment, sorry. Yeah, some of it's been educational. Um, I feel mm-hmm. like there's there's room for more education and learning, and uh, I only have about 10 minutes left, but we're, you know, we're going to learn a little bit more. But there will be, in fact, more edutainment at some point in my future. So I'm happy to bring you a little preview of what's to come, I'd say. Because, uh, again, thank you, chat, for donating and raising the money for that. And again, if you do hit that 50,000 by the end of the day, which I think is still very possible, um, negotiations might be arranged for me to stream Oregon Trail 2. And perhaps even, I'll even throw in Amazon Trail as well. So not just Oregon well, Trail 2, but Amazon Trail, which is another classic. So if you have any interest in both of those, I'll do them both for you in full. You seriously need to stop stepping back to my past. My I watched my sister play Amazon Trail all the time. So that's that would be a treat. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be a good one. Um definitely. Yeah, I I'd be happy to stream as much of those games as possible for you if you if you donate the proper amount. So even 5 bucks per person counts. It helps. 
It absolutely does. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click this uh, this uh, giveaway right here, and I'm going to pick someone at random. Thank you so much. And we're going to do it. And let's see. Winner is R1LEYX, or Riley X. That's the, uh, that's the person that I'm looking at right now. You were the winner. Congrats. The Ralph Pluton Body Pillow. Let me see if I can't message you here. I'm going to try to put this through the AI portrait thing, this Ralph pillow, and, and see if it detects a face while this is happening. So please, right. please try to, uh, you know, cover your eyes. You might need to chat. Just give me a second here. I'll get this going. Um, see if it actually works. It may not. It may not detect that this is a face. All right. So I will go ahead and uh, attempt to message them and get some information. Thank you all so much for participating. And that is not the only giveaway that we've got going on for this weekend. Um, there's some extra special prizes that are going to be going through as well. So stay tuned. Nice. Thank uh, you, Hootie. Mm, no worries. Thanks for having me on. And I'm going to go ahead and just back out and whatnot. Um, thank you all so much. Take care. All right. See ya. All right, congratulations, oh. Riley. Uh, this is this is really cursed. Uh, it does. It, the AI definitely can work with it. But congratulations. You do get the one of a kind pillow. A piece of history that has been never opened. So don't worry. It's in good condition. All right. Let's continue. We don't have a lot of time with this frog, which is probably for the best. Hey, pal. Got a bone to pick with me? Get it? Bone? Ha 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 ha. So, if you want to know Gigglebone hey. Gang again... <laughs> the x-ray machine is really, really cool. Come on, let's try it out. It's so corny. It is so corny. Oh, boy! A uh, doggy x-ray. <laughs> Those are, uh, uh... Oh, the bones in his head and neck. Oh, cute little Fido. <sighs> This is an x-ray of her spine. Did you know there's 26 huh? vertebrae in her back? Um. Okay. Oh my. We are looking at this patient's intestines. Huh? <laughs> She's got uh, 28 feet of them, you know, all curled up in there. It's <laughs> a lot of intestines. Oh, hey, look! <laughs> there's <laughs> two people in lungs. here at the same time. <laughs> you know, everybody's got two, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, you just you learn with the frog. Oh, and hey, <laughs> are you considering I don't have a lot of time left? I'm probably okay. Let's go find Zach and the others. I'm probably not going to uh, be able to Hello see again, most Doc. of this, but Listen, you know, there's these guys are gonna pop a button if you don't play with one of them. I got two of everything up my sleeve. Come oh, on and see. God no. Um, so they they all all of these creatures, these characters have something to tell you, and you can learn about stuff in the hospital. It's just the frog. There's so much. Lay that mouse on me, man. Dialogue. What do you want me to choose next, chat? A trash can, right? Go to trash? Everyone saying go to trash? All right. This is it. Junk Junction. With all this great trash, hard to decide where to go first. Now six? Oh, that's a sassy number. You just come see. Um, uh, here we go. Oh, uh, uh, we just have to sit and wait a sec while they get all this stuff ready for us. Mm-hmm. So there's oh, been. Hey, oh, hey! Oh, no. We looked out! Oh, oh, oh. Can you believe the stuff people throw away? I just don't know. I got a fantabulous idea. Click on my belly, and I'll give you some junk to play with. Yeah. <laughs> you I can hate put it. stuff back together, or even make something like uh, totally new. Come on, let's get started. If we hit 50k by tonight, you'll never have to see this frog again on stream ever. Okay, I lied. No, I can't. I can't promise that. Um, just click but, on me, and I'll give you some junk to play So with. the name of this frog is Bungie. B-U-N-J-I. That's one. And people have already made art and fan games of the frog. There's a fan game of this frog in Dreams, and also a fan game just in whatever. I think it was just Unity. Just click where on me, and I'll give you some junk to play with. Or it might have with. been a Half-Life 2 map where you actually shoot the frog. So just so you know, this frog has got a lot of fans. Oh, that there is a smasher basher. Mm -hmm. It's you not real. You want to break something into parts? Just drag it over here to the target. But watch out. You ass. That's not real. That's not a real thing. There's no such thing as a smasher basher. You... 
Oh, that was like a camera. What about it? Uh, okay. What, what are we learning here? Is there any learning to be done? Huh? Hey, you know what? <laughs> what? Oh, I get it. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I bet Velma would love this camera. Yep. <laughs> oh, I hate its voice! I'm good. Well, now, what can we make of that? A bicycle? So yesterday I was playing Mario Maker, and I showed a level called New Boot Goofin. And I showed a clip of Dangle from Reno 911 doing the New Boot Goofin. And it got claimed by Viacom, and they took down my video. Just because of that one little <laughs> clip I showed. I wonder what a flying vacuum cleaner would look like. <laughs> Want to try and make one? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, if you feed me something, we could keep playing. Yep. I don't understand. This is... What, what is this mechanical thing? <laughs> can I drag Bungie oh, over I to the hammer? Stuff. Give no. me something back so we can keep... <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> We can build a plane. Wow. One completed. Well, guess it's time to go back to our friends. But uh, always remember, um, junk is not junk to a junk lover. <laughs> or uh, something like that. Oh, someone in chat <laughs> just said this has got to be the most hated Vine Sauce character ever. <laughs> Certainly by me. That was some junk fiesta there, man. What do you say? Want to snoop around with someone else? I Let's want... go build a boat and be... I want to go to the, the, the couch, or the chair, the art, the, the two, whatever. One, two, three, fourth street. Wild place to explore, especially if you're... Hey! Just for a second, <laughs> we don't inside. have a lot of time. Yeah. Again, this will show up on stream again at some point. Oh, uh, uh, well, we just have to sit and wait a sec while they get all this stuff ready for us. Mm -hmm. This will be a bonus game. Oh. Whenever I do edutainment, hey, we'll what? have to return to this. We get to decorate Zach's apartment. Yeah, you can move everything around, and you can paint it different colors, too. I'm sorry, we uh -oh. just have just to. Just drag these spray cans over to the stuff you want to paint. But, uh-oh, <laughs> watch out. You gotta match the number on the can to the number you see on the object, or it won't work. Nope. Just click on me, and I'll give you stuff to work with. Ugh. Oh, whoa. oh, oh a chair. <laughs> comfy, comfy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a couch. Oh. <laughs> oh, lamp. A chair. Who? Hey, <laughs> a fish in a bowl. <laughs> hey, who? <laughs> you. Oh, now that is a gorgeous color. Uh oh, the number on the can. Isn't Doesn't this fun, match chat? The number on the object. Now to color it that color, you gotta click on the object till its number matches. Oh, hey, a lamp! <laughs> that sheds light, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, infinity? There's a infinity logo here. Oh. Oh, I see. And yes, Bungie can oh, eat all oh, of the stuff. Suck, you lent. <laughs> yes, that's a word. Uh -huh, yes. Oh, I'm going to need that clip. And also, of course, there's um, Bungie can eat live fish that are swimming in a fishbowl. Two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl year after year. Eaten. Gone. Oh, delectable. Isn't this a great character? And wouldn't you want to live in a, in a house that looked like a, a clown house, like a clown carnival house? Me? Oh. I like red walls. Ugh. Can you make these walls red? No, I think we're good. In fact, this is the end of my block, sadly. So I'll I'll just go ahead and um I'll, I'll just go ahead and stop with Bungie now. Um, and I'm going to play you a song while I do my outro. I would like to uh, thank you for watching the edutainment stream. You unlocked more edutainment. I'm sorry. Um, you know you hit all ten. So we're going to do that. I, I really, you know, I have to apologize, but Bungie will be back. I'm going to have to see the rest of Infinity City and even see what the rest of the characters do. So consider that.
consider yourselves lucky that we don't have more Bungie and that I got so caught up with Spider-Man and other games. But it was a lot of fun, and uh, I hope you enjoyed checking it out a bit. And um, oh, succulent. Yes, that is a word. Uh huh. Oh no. Can I try some more, please? <laughs> no, no, no. <coughs> oh, excuse Stop. me. Bungie. Oh dear. <sighs> okay. Okay. Listen, I just want to say... We make the pants. No, no. We make the pants. God, no. That's right. We make the feedly, fidly, fodly, fancy pants. Stop. Oh, yes, we do. We can make walkie-talkie radios that you can wear upon your toes. Oh. A ballerina fancy I just want to talk dancer. about charity. <laughs> King of Majig wears royal pants. His royal chef tinfoil pants. But everyone must wear their fancy pants. Fancy pants! Uh, they're the zingiest and the floweriest and even the superpoweriest. We make the number one -iest. The bestest under the sunniest, the wowiest, zowiest, zippiest pants, the technological miracle fancy pants. Okay, listen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for donating. I'm sorry that you have to listen to these horrible noises, but I'm done for the night. Stay tuned. There's going to be more great streams for the rest of the night. There's a, I think we just have Dyer up next. Um, enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again, if you can raise some more money by the end of the night, it goes to a good cause. Pediatric Cancer Research, this is our sixth year doing this, and we've done a lot of really good work together, and we can continue that. Um, I'm really happy with how far we've come. Thank you. you. You don't know that this is... Thank you for allowing me to do stuff like this. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to keep doing stuff like this, and I'm happy to inspire people to actually do something positive with video games and stupidity and pants and frogs. So... This is a, a really great opportunity, and, and I'm glad that everybody here is coming together to do something really bigger than all of ourselves. Thank you to Scott, Hootie, and everybody on the team for putting all this together. I have done so little work compared to the rest of them, and I am, I am very humbled by everything that's gone on tonight and, and will continue to go on this weekend. So stick around for more streams. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please continue to donate and maybe grab a shirt or a magazine or a pin. And I'll see you over the next two days. And on Sunday, I have a four-hour block. So you're going to be stuck with me for a long time that day. All right? And it should be fun, though. So good night. We make the pants. Do good things. Mm. Can you make me another one, please? <laughs>